Hey guys, so this will be a quick little speed test between these two. On the left, we have the Beast, the Galaxy S8 Plus. This is the Snapdragon 835 variant. And on the right here is the Huawei Mate 9 with a Kirin 960 chipset. Both have four gigs of RAM. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on both at the same time and see which one turns on faster. Let's go. And unfortunately, we do have some carrier bloat on the S8 Plus. It is what it is. And despite that, reboots a little bit faster than the Mate. And we are in. And also one more thing, show you guys real quick before I forget, since the Mate 9 has a resolution of 1080p, I've gone ahead and set the resolution on the S8 Plus to FHD Plus, as you can see right there. So both phones don't have anything running in the background, as you can see. Both have been updated to their la latest version of Nougat. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and open a bunch of apps. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the phone app here. Go. And the same on both. Okay, up next is the camera. Go ahead and do it this way. Go. A little bit faster on the S8 Plus. Okay, we have the calculator. The same on both. Okay, what do we have next? Snapchat, go. And very similar on both phones. Let's see. Twitter, a little bit faster on the Mate 9 there. Okay, we have the Play Store. Tiny bit faster on the Mate. Okay, we have eBay. eBay. A little bit faster on the S8 Plus. Both devices going back and forth, back and forth. Okay, we have some games here, Mario Run. Just a tiny bit faster on the S8 Plus. Okay, we have Subway Surf Game, go. And the S8 Plus, a little bit faster. Go ahead and play a little bit. There we go. Let's see, Temple Run 2. S8 Plus, just a tiny bit faster. With the Mate 9, it's right on its heels. Stop the game right there. And we have Angry Birds. Whoa. Both are practically the same. I can't tell which one is ahead. Um, even the sound is almost the same. There's a little bit of an echo, maybe like a split second, but yeah, very similar on both phones here. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and launch the uh, the browser. Now on the SA Plus, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the, uh, the Samsung browser that comes with the phone stock. And on the Mate 9, Chrome. Go. And you can see Chrome's a little bit faster here on the right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a search for Huawei. Go. Uh, 
I'll take that off. Huawei P10. Okay. Explorer Huawei P10. Go. And you know what? I can't tell which one. If I have. Maybe the S8 Plus. I don't know. Both are very close. Scroll through this real fast. Not a problem on either phone. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go to Samsung.com right now. Go. Maybe the S8 Plus a split second faster. Okay, buy now, go. Okay, get started, go. All right, both very similar. And there you go. Okay, I'm gonna go to one more website. I'm gonna go to Android Central. A little bit faster here on the left. Go. And SA Plus, a little bit faster here. Waiting for the Mate 9. Oh, not yet. Okay. Hmm, both very similar. Okay, I'm just going to click on one of these things. Go. Okay, looks like the Mate 9 jumped ahead there. I thought it was a mistouch on the S8 Plus, but I guess not. Okay, waiting for the adverts. I think we're done here on the Mate. All right, so there you go. So as you can see on the browsing, both are very similar. One phone might be a little bit faster than the other in certain pages, but overall, you're gonna have a very similar experience on either phone. Go ahead and close that. All right, so now let's take a look at the multitasking here. Okay, contacts. All right, no reloading yet. Camera. There you go, couldn't really tell. Okay, we have the calculator. Very nice. All right, Snapchat. No reloading. We have Twitter. And the Mate 9, we have a little bit of a reload here. Okay, Google Play, no reloads. So where are we, only one reload on the Mate 9? Okay, eBay, a little bit of a re reload on the Mate 9. Okay, so that's two reloads on the Mate 9. Okay, Mario Run, both in RAM. Just gonna leave it there, Subway Surf. Both still in RAM. Okay, Temple Run 2, right there where we left the game off. Okay, Angry Birds 2, both still in RAM, very nice, okay, what else do we have? I think we have one more app, okay, and then the internet browser, there you go, and we're back to the last app, which is, yeah, back to the phone and contacts, so alright, so you can see, you know, both devices are performing very similar, I think the Mate 9 had to reload two of the apps, one more thing, I completely forgot to include, is I wanted to include a fingerprint scanner speed test between these two. Now, I consider Huawei phones in general, and the, you know, the Mate 9, to be the most accurate and the fastest fingerprint scanner there is. Now, in that same league is also the OnePlus 3T, uh, which is also, in the front here, has a very, very fast and accurate fingerprint scanner. But, Anyway, I just want to go ahead and test out the Mate 9's fingerprint scanner here versus the S8 Plus and see how it stacks up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off both right now. I'm going to flip it over. I'm gonna, this is the my Nexus 9 tablet. And yeah, to see which one's faster here. I'm going to try to do this at the same time. And let's go. And as you can see there, the Mate 9 was a little bit quicker. Almost dropped the phone. Right, I'm going to do that again. See, hopefully you can see it. Uh... Not Bixby, all right. I'm gonna try not to do that again. Okay, I'll turn the phone off. All right, this is harder than harder than it looks. All right, guys, and let's go. So you can see, Mate 9 much faster. Now, also, what if I let's see here. All right. So I'm gonna turn off 
the phone's right on Angry Birds. And I'm gonna see how, if that slows the fingerprint scanner down or what. So let's do it right now. All right, let's go. And you can see Mate 9 was a little bit faster there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that again on both this way. Go. And as you can see, Mate 9 was a little bit faster there. All right, hope you enjoyed this test. Between these two, you know, the Mate 9, when the Mate 9 came out, I really looked at it as a strong alternative to those who had a Note 7 and had to return it and looking for a phone that's similar to a Note 7. The Mate 9, it was a very good alternative for those users. And I like the Mate 9. I think it's an excellent phone. Now, the one thing I will knock the Mate 9 for is the screen. At uh, 5.9 inches, I think Huawei should have gone uh, 1440p resolution on this display. This phone also has stereo speakers. So I think if Huawei put the 1440p on here, I think that would have made a, a big a big difference in my opinion. But yeah, both phones are good. Uh, I can't really go wrong uh, with either or. If you're considering these two, Nano Mate 9 is a little bit older now. S8 just came out. So, and also another thing I want to take note of the Mate 9, you know, the S8 Plus, the screen to body ratio on the S8 Plus is, obviously if you look at this phone, you know, it's barely in a bezel. But you know, I also like to say that the Mate 9's bezel ratio, screen to bezel ratio here is pretty respectable. You know, it's a little bit chunkier than the uh, S8 Plus, but I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's not that much more in my opinion than the, um, than the S8 Plus here. And this screen is 5.9 inches at a more traditional ratio of uh, 16 by nine. So yeah, you get a lot of screen here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you liked this video, found it helpful. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.